Catalyst and Company, where we're catalysts in each other's lives as well as our own, and we work towards uh, being the artist we've always wanted to be, or we are the artist we want, always wanted to be, or something or other. Uh, last week, uh, we were hit by Hurricane Ian, and I'm one of the lucky ones where Hurricane Ian was expected to actually flood my neighborhood and wipe it out, as it did Fort Myers and Sanibel Island and a bunch of other places, Northport. Uh, fortunately, it did not. I, I did not. I only got a little bit of flooding in in my garage, nothing major, because we had sandbags up, but we were very, very fortunate. Uh, in preparation for it, I had taken all my belongings and all of the paintings and everything and put them up about uh, two, three feet uh, to four feet to five feet off the floor. Some of the things went in rubber made containers. The paintings were all up they were all suspended off the floor. So it was quite a big venture. It took a couple of days. It took all day, not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before Ian hit, um, Sunday and Monday, to get everything off the floor. Um, a little bit into Tuesday, then I went to a friend's house and stayed there on his second floor condo. Came back Thursday, and then it took uh, a, a few days to get everything put back and cleaned up. But we also had to clean up the yard because we'd lost six, seven trees. Like I said, it's nothing in comparison to what other friends have gone through, friends and neighbors have gone through, where they've lost everything. Uh, I lost nothing. I lost absolutely nothing. Uh, we, we spent um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of this week cleaning up the yards. Hi, Susan. Uh, yeah, we spent Saturday, Sunday, and Monday cleaning up the front and the backyard. Um, a number of trees came down, but nothing hit the house. So, actually very, very fortunate. I do not, however, the only inconvenience I have right now, and it is li literally a luxurious inconvenience, is I have no internet. And uh, Xfinity has been promising inter internet uh, since, last, since last Friday, I think. So it, it, it's an inconvenience, and it's a little frustrating, but uh, that, that really is it. So I'm counting my lucky stars, but I'm also hoping to hear something from Xfinity someday soon, because I don't have full uh, phone service. And as you can see, the, the picture is very blurry on my phone. There's a crack that runs across the lens, and I haven't bothered to have it replaced because I don't care that much. So, a little bit of so cell service, no internet service, but beyond that, nothing. I have continued to paint. Uh, this is the weird thing is, I'm talking to people across the country, artists I know in different areas of the country, who are feeling, who have reflected how I feel. And I, I want to talk about this just in case you're feeling the same way. Feeling just kind of sad and stuck and just feeling as though there's almost nothing good to grab on. Because every time we start to feel a little bit good, another Ian rolls through, another something or other rolls through, and we end up just back here again, where we've been for the past six, seven years. Just like, oh, really? Can somebody give us just a little bit of hope? Um, anywho, in that, that being said, and with all the artists that I talk to and the friends that I talk to who are, who are just feeling very, you know, Eeyore-ish about things, um, we all have continued to work. I have the commission up behind me. Um, I started that uh, the other day. I had to give it a few days to settle where I worked on other things, and then I started this commission. Um, the phone is actually propped up on a five-foot painting, five-foot by four-foot painting that I started. I've got one, two more started, a couple more canvases in the other room. And then Michaels has been kind enough to hang on to two more canvases for me while I sort out a way to get them home. So I've got a lot up in the air. But it still is difficult to keep, to, um, to focus. But we keep trying anyway. We just keep trying anyway. And, and knowing that this is not permanent. These emotions, these feelings that we have are not permanent. And uh, that things will change. So we just have to 
hold our breath and wait for the better times to come. Well, like I said, I'm a very lucky person. I know a number of people who have lost their homes um, or lost all their belongings. They've lost everything. So me not having internet is like, don't be a big baby. And that's it. That's the update. Um, I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. If you would like to buy me a sandwich or a cup of coffee, that would be great. The links for all that are down below. If you'd like to help support uh, Catalyst and Company, all the links are down below, including Cash App, PayPal, T Public, and Patreon, where you supply monthly support, and I barely talk to people, especially the last couple of weeks because of Ian. Anywho, I am appreciative for all support, and I am appreciative for all kindness in the community. All right, take care. Ready? Here we go. Ciao. Mir, mir, mir. Bye, Susan. Bye, Carrie.